What's up, y'all? This is the Tom Bernard Show. Yes, it's Thursday, December 20th. Most of y'all will be traveling at this point. Most of y'all will be out of school or traveling at this point. So, I mean, Christmas is five days. And then 12 more days later, I mean, seven days after Christmas will be the new year. We'll be in 2019. I mean, it ain't gonna feel like 2019. But this is the, I've been done to do this episode. Like, y'all, this is the Christmas episode. This is one of the episodes I want to do since November. You know, this is one of the episodes that is going to be worth it. Out of all the episodes I have did, this will hopefully be the one that's going to be one of the best. And this should be one of the best. So, I mean, we're going to start with a Christmas song in the beginning and then at the end. And for sure, and but for right now, um, so yeah. But before we get started, I just hope that all y'all back in my previous episode. I hope that y'all did pass y'all finals because here's the thing: the the finals are hard. I I don't know if anyone knows, but the finals are really hard. I mean. It's sometimes stressful for kids, if you're failing, if you're right at 65 or 66, like in my last episode. If you don't, this is one of the situations, I don't pass this final, I basically fail this course. Or do credit clearly, or possibly repeat ninth grade. Now, I tell you this. Ninth grade sucks. I don't, I don't like the assemblies. I mean, when you're a senior, I mean, I mean I'm in ninth grade still, but there's going to be a time one day that we're all going to be seniors. But sometimes, if you don't pass ninth grade courses, and when you're like a senior, I think you need to take, um, you will have to take, take it again when you're a senior. You don't want that. You don't want me to say a bunch of ninth graders and think to yourself, I should have passed this the first time. You got passed the first time. Don't pass the second time if necessary. You should really pass the first time and move on. Like, move on. You you want to get you want to be 18, you want to get out your parents' house, or you want to go to college, or you want to go to war, or go military, whatever. You got to at least pass high school. If not, then I don't know what to do. Get a GED. Or do whatever. I, I don't know. But, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to put up these lyrics for Oh my jolly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Holly jolly. Hold on a second. Well, this computer is waiting on the lyrics and the song and all that stuff. Um. But yeah, Christmas. This should be the we all as we all know Santa. Hope Santa give us all the kids to the little children and all of us, you know. But there's always a white Santa, but this should be a black Santa, you know. I mean I mean there could be other Santas like a Spanish Santa, Asian Spanish but they always show you a white white Santa, but they sometimes don't give you like a black Santa or a Hispanic Santa or any other type of race. They just give you a white Santa, you know. See, this here's what I really don't, really, I don't really like about this was happen. This happened like last week or something, but um. So I was watching the news one night. I was watching the news and I was watching CBS Forty Six, and they had one of them night beat. Nightly news, whatever. And so I was watching one of them, one of them night beat shows, like the nine o'clock shows, not the eleven, but the nine. So I was watching them type shows. And then they were there was on Twitter, you know, they they showed stuff on Twitter about the comments about today and whatever. So they they just showed us a black Santa getting killed, basically saying there's a black Santa. It was like an air, one of them air types of things, you know, like you fill it up. Like, you know, it's one of them 
balloon things. How you put it? Like, you know, it's one of them types of things. You know, one of them types of air blowy thingies. And if for some reason somebody killed it with a knife. And this was, this wasn't, uh, this was real life. Like, like I'm really telling you, it wasn't like a body we're talking about. We're talking about like a de decorative, you know, type of thing, you know. This wasn't like a real body, okay? But yeah, they they a black sandwich just down the ground, lying on the floor. With no air, breathing under it, just nothing. It was just done, you know. And that really pissed me off, you know. I mean I, I, I believe I, I I don't wanna be criticizing, but I think somebody did this. And I believe it was a racist person that did this. And it wasn't cool, you know. I mean, I mean, it's not cool to do stuff like that. Like, like I know racism is a real issue, and we're gonna talk about it in another episode, in another day. But this is a big problem in this country. You know, this is one of the biggest issues. This all goes back to segregation. This all goes back to really goes back to slavery. Really comes back to slavery. It doesn't matter who you are. I mean, it doesn't matter. If you're black, white, Asian, or Hispanic, or mixed race, or whatever, but we're all different. Like, we're all not the same, and we all make mistakes. You know, we all make, we all do stuff like we should do, but at the end, we learn our lesson. And so, that that really pissed me off. Why that 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 dude, whatever, killed black sinner, and that person was doing nothing. All he just did was put a black Santa on on his lawn, and and you know at the end, it, it some someone just some idiot just killed with a knife. Like, like what's wrong with you? You know, that's not cool. That's not cool. Wait, I'm not got typed up. But yeah, that, that's my point. It's not cool to do stuff like that. And also, this is, this is also a time of year where people always, um, see, this is the time of year where people start selling packages from doorsteps. Pa parents work hard. Like, I don't know if y'all know about this, but parents work hard for what they earn, you know. If, you, if, you're, if you're not thankful, well, you're just a brat. You're just a spoiled brat, you know. I, I got another say for you, but they really work hard for you. Not parents or kids or whatever. I mean, they always order stuff online off of Amazon or free shipping from Walmart, Target, or any other retailer or whatever. And then they always, because some people don't even know it's stolen. Like, sometimes they might have like a one of them types of ring and they can see a camera and they can see their doorstep. Like, let's just say you might work at 10 a.m., you see it, and then the next thing you know, when you come home, it's gone. It's not in your house. No, no one picked it up. It was just gone. And then when you look at that ring recorded, you saw it during the middle of the day, some guys, you know, basically, basically just stole your package and ran off with it. Like, that's not cool. That's not cool. That is not cool. I mean, stop doing this. I mean, people work hard for what they earn. I mean, what they got to the children on Christmas Day saying, um, your presence will be late. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, but your presence was late, or I'm sorry, but Santa missed your stop, or Santa whatever. Because people work hard for what they earn. And if you got thugs, you know, still where you're black, white, or whoever, it's not cool. Do the right thing. If you know what's wrong, then don't do it. You know, don't do it. Don't don't go steal someone's package up. I mean, this this is not just Georgia we're talking about. We're talking about basically across the country and basically across the world, if necessary. This has actually become a real issue. And it's a real issue because, you know, because this is 2018. This is not like the years past. I mean, where if, I mean, they didn't have that all back then, but they didn't get down a lot of that. Or even if they did, they didn't really steal it. But it has increased. Most crimes about this has increased. It doesn't matter who you are, but you, that's wrong. I mean, there's other organizations that that carries the stuff, carries all this stuff that you know 
that you can get for free, like Toys for Tots, you know. If y'all don't know about this, this is an organization, Toys for Tots. It's a good organization. It's an organization for kids 